creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes, but art is knowing the ones to keep. The artists on our lineup today certainly know the ones worth keeping, so keep your eyes glued to your TV sets. It promises to be an interesting ride. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. The heights that great men reached are not attained by sudden flight, but while their companions slept, they were toiling upward in the night. Meet Temitayo Ogumbiye. This exhibition is called uh, Nightmares Daydreams and it's my third exhibition here in, in Lagos. Um, I've done several exhibitions in the country. I've, I've been living in Nigeria for three years now. An arts graduate from Princeton University in the United States of America, Temitaya followed up with a Master's of Art Curatorial Studies and Critical Arts Theory degree from Columbia University in the same country. Timitai has taken this craft across the world, holding exhibitions in Berlin, London, Network Poland, Russia, Slovakia, and now is showing off her talent at the Freedom Pack in Lagos, with this exhibition targeted 300 girls. I started working on this project uh, in April, shortly after the missing, the girls in Chibok went missing. Um, I was inspired to do something, but I didn't know what until uh, probably a couple weeks after, after they went missing. And I decided to start a project called 300 Girls, um, which I have dedicated to the many Nigerian girls who wish to pursue education at various levels. And so this exhibition is to raise awareness about the importance of uh, girls uh, being enabled uh, whether they seek to receive education here or elsewhere, um, at every level, at every point in their life, they need to be enabled to pursue their dreams. An interesting artist, Demitaya borrows from social happenings as a means of expression, using school materials and paper clippings to speak out. And so this exhibition, Nightmares, Daydreams, um, can be interpreted in several different ways. Uh, I certainly begin with education, and education as it exists in, in a Nigerian context. And so all of the works that are on view here incorporate um, several key materials. Uh, they incorporate drawing and painting, which are two conventional mediums that uh, most visitors have recognized. But then they also incorporate various school uniform fabrics that are used in Nigeria, as well as uh, digital textile fabric that I created specifically for this exhibition. And by digital textile fabric, I mean um, a fabric that I have uh, laid out using press clippings and images that are all related to the press coverage of the missing 300 or so girls um, that were taken from Chibok, but also elsewhere. So the girls who were taken from Yobe, um, I was thinking about them in making this exhibition, and the many girls who were abducted um, before uh, the Chibok situation became um, uh, the focus of Nigerian media and international media. And those who came for the event cannot hide how impressed they are. They're quite unique. They're not something that you see everywhere. I mean, quite unique. They're new. They're fresh. And the idea, the idea here are, are powerful. Especially, I'm actually looking at, at, at the desk here. And I, I get called and ask her, what's, what's are they part of the exhibition? And she, she, she said, yes. Uh, Really, uh, I can remember using them when I was in primary school. Uh, I think it's, it's a very good symbol of education, especially in Nigeria. Uh, I still see, see them in, in, in my dreams. The work is very striking. It's, um, you can see that a lot of thought and hard work has been put into it. And for that reason, I commend Timutayo. It's something that we can all relate with because it's, 
um, stuff that's actually happening, you know, with respect to the Chibok girls. It's something that everyone can relate to with because we have like children amongst us. Vision is very inspiring, very creative, and very different from the regular paint artwork or photography that we regularly have in Lagos because it's mixed media and it mixes different types of fabrics and different styles of art all in one. And the other, the other thing that's quite um, instructive or inspiring is that she tries to address societal issues with her artwork. For instance, a lot of um, paper clips from the Chibok issue that's on the artwork. So I think it's very creative and inspiring. I like the way the artist is expressing themselves through the mixture of the paper and the news reports. I think it's actually very timely and current events and helps us think about what's going on in the country at the moment. Timutayo Gumbi certainly has a lot to say and she lets her heart speak her mind. Born in 1955, he graduated as a sculptor from Yabatek in 1978 with an OND and later went back in 1981 for his HND. He was the head of Department Graphics, School of Art and Design and Printing, Yaba College of Technology, Lagos. There he also lectured in sculpting. He was also a visiting assistant professor, Fine Arts Department, University of Missouri-Columbia in 2003. 